Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Um, welcome to my 15 day June lip challenge update. My name is Milu and you are watching my June lip challenge. If you have not seen my videos before, please subscribe because I do a lot of um, lip videos and makeup videos and sometimes other weird things. But um, I was originally gonna sit down and film this video with like my lights and my camera and blah, blah, blah. But I realized I've been doing my updates vlog style. So I thought it might be fun to just do a vlog style. So I've been using a different lipstick every day for 15 days now. And one thing I've definitely noticed is that I've had to force myself to use the lip glosses. I don't really enjoy reaching for lip glosses when I don't feel it in my soul that I want to. Also, it's summer, so everything's like hot and sticky in Houston anyway, and I'm like, I don't want gloss on my lips, it's just uncomfortable. So I'm gonna go through all the lipsticks that I um, wore, and I will show you um, which ones I'm getting rid of and what I felt about each one of these. Hey guys, so I'm at Shake Shack, and I thought this would be the perfect time uh, to talk about day two of the slip challenge. I can't find it. I decided to use um, Too Faced Melted Matte in the color Queen Bee, and I like the way it looks on the view, like on the screen, but I actually don't really like it on me. I don't think I'm a huge fan. Um, I feel like it is just a little bit too purple, a little too mauve, a little too pink, and I'm just not a huge fan of li liquid lipsticks anymore. I love like natural, neutral shades that are just kind of like comfortable and, and not like a pain to apply and stuff. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not really feeling this, which is really surprising because I liked it a lot when it was in my drawer for six months, but now that it's actually on my lips and I've worn it all day today, right now it is uh, 3.44, so I took it off because I just had a burger at Shake Shack and then um, just reapplied it like five minutes ago and I'm just not feeling it. Like after it was all day, like I just don't really like it that much. So I honestly think I'm gonna put this in a bye-bye a pile because uh, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not vibing with me right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is June 3rd, so it is uh, day three of my June lip challenge. I'm really excited to keep going. Uh, so today I have this sugar lip treatment uh, balm. I am very predictable because I told you guys in advance that I knew I was gonna reach for all the balms. I put on a little natural colored lip liner. Like, it's just a really... Um, neutral, natural, my lips but better kind of lip liner, and this is a clear balm, so I wanted to have a little color on my lips. It's really comfortable, but hey, it's in my lip challenge, I'm using it, so I'm, I'm giving myself that pass. Even if I use all the balms and like natural stuff first, or natural, like more um, just moisturizing, like not that obvious kind of lipsticks every day. But um, I mean, so far it's nice. I can feel it on my lips, it's moisturizing, and it's comfortable. But uh, yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna go for all the balmy type of products first and then leave all of the the funky stuff for the end. But it's June 1st and um, we're, keep go we're, we're gonna keep going. Let me know if you're also doing this challenge. Um, follow along with me, hit me up in the comments. Day three, sugar advanced lip therapy treatment. I'm pretty sure it's June 4th, so uh, we'll just roll with that. But today, if I can get this out of my bag, we are wearing Bites Glacé. Um, it's a little darker than I remember it being. I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I tried to force myself to wear it. This is me like not wearing all of my super light, comfy, moisturizing nudes. So this is not super drying, but I do feel like there's not as much moisture. Like I think the Amuse Bouche lipsticks have more moisture in them, but Regardless, um, it, it's a great color, um, and it is actually kind of funky, fun, summery. It goes with my um, my little summery vacation outfit, me going to work in vacation clothes. It's, it's a vibe. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to check in, let you know I'm wearing Bite um, Glacé, which I like. I don't reach for it a lot, but I like Hello. it. Hello, it is Wednesday, June 5th, and today I'm wearing Color Pops. <laughs> just dropped it. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, I'm wearing ColourPop's Ultra Blotted Lip in the color Zuma. Uh, I find that the formula of this is a little bit like powdery. It feels kind of like matte and powdery. So I put this incredible jelly shot on top of it just to moisturize it. But it's a nice like My Lips But Better color. I really like it. I just don't reach for it enough. Maybe because it's tiny and I don't see it. I don't know. Uh, but that's what I'm wearing today. Don't 
Look at the, oh my God, there's a Whataburger bag. Don't even look back there. Okay, bye, see you later. <laughs> hey guys, it's day six of the lip challenge. Today I'm wearing ColourPop's Champagne Mommy um, lip gloss. I used a little bit of lip liner underneath just for some like extra color, but overall, I love this. I already know I love this and it's really only in my challenge because uh, I don't use it enough, but I really like this gloss. Um, let's see how it wears throughout the day because I haven't worn this in a good while, so I feel like it may or may not feather. Some of my lip glosses do feather, some don't. I know if you've watched my channel, you may know that I, I talk a lot about lip glosses feathering and I didn't use my lip liner, so um, yeah, I will get back, I'll probably check in later in the day and let you know uh, how this went. Hi, I'm back. It is about four hours later. Uh, I just realized I never like set my T-zone this morning, so I'm super oily, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, it looks like the, the Champagne Mommy lip gloss is feathered a little bit, but not much. And it's clear enough to where like it gives you a nice wash of color, but I don't know. Yeah, it hasn't really feathered much. Like it has feathered, but that really happens to me with every lip gloss. I just wanted to check in, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, it's day seven of my lip challenge and I'm not even done getting ready, but I put on my lip product already and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in Venus. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, like, I hate this. I'm taking this off right now, I'm not gonna wear it. I'm not wearing this, I refuse. I think it looks all right, but I just, I, it is a personal preference where I just do not like chunky glitter. Ooh, and my skin's kind of a wreck right now. I just feel like it doesn't do me any justice. I need something that'll make me look better, not worse. I need some help right now. Um, Yeah, no, this might look nice as like a topper, maybe in the middle of the lip. Um, but for me, I don't think it's a, an all over lip gloss. I don't like the color on me. I don't like the way it looks on me. I just definitely don't think I'm going to be keeping this and I'm not even going to wear it for the day. I'm taking this off. Sorry, I have failed you, <laughs> but I'll check in tomorrow. Bye. Hello, it is Saturday, June the 8th, and I am getting ready to film some videos right now. But I just wanted to show you what lipstick I decided to wear and I'm actually really happy I forced myself to use this. It is the Clinique Chubby Stick Intense in the color Broadest Berry and I was saying how much I disliked it in my makeup declutter and how I felt like I had to force myself to use it but oh my god I put it on and I actually really love it and it has like a balmy consistency. It's like a lip balmy kind of consistency. Ah, No, I really like this. I'm actually really... Um, really feeling it. Let me know what you think because I, I was talking mad smack about this product and then a lot of people were like, dude, just stop using it. Like you don't have to force yourself to use a lipstick that you don't want to use, but I used it and I love it. I'm actually about to film a project pan update video and this is in that project pan. So I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll use this a little bit more because I'm actually really liking it, but we'll see. I have to wear it like all day to give you the final verdict. So I'll, I'll let you know, but getting ready to film, got my, got my little setup going here. So, um, yeah. Hopefully see y'all in, in some videos. Talk to you tomorrow. Hello and happy June. Oh God, what's the date? Oh God, June 9th. <laughs> it's June 9th. So it's day nine of my lip challenge. Um, I forgot to bring the actual lip product with me, but I am wearing um, the NYX lip lingerie in the color exotic. I actually really like this. I don't. I just don't reach for li liquid lipsticks that often, but I like the color. It's a fun color. Um, not really my vibe. I kind of like forced myself. Actually, comparing to yesterday's uh, Clinique Lip Balm Intense, whatever it was called, I actually think I like that better. It was almost like a similar color with like a tiny bit more purple, and it was uh, a lot more comfortable, and it just like, it just felt nicer. I still really like this color. I mean, it's a really nice color. I just, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's not like my mood right now, but yeah, just out here grocery shopping and other things so gonna wear that and uh, we'll check back tomorrow hey y'all I uh, just got to work my hair is all frizzy and nappy right now so just ignore that but uh, today I decided to wear the Mac cultured lip glass um, I talked about this recently in my project pan video I did a little update which wasn't much of an update because I haven't used this in a good while um, but yeah I decided to use it today I felt like a summery vibe with the turquoise and the white you know what I'm saying uh, but <laughs> Yeah, I, I like this gloss because it actually doesn't feather. Like, I don't have to use any kind of um, priming, like, out 
like lip liner thing around like the clear lip liners around it it doesn't actually feather at all so that's nice it's it's sticky and just sticky enough to where it stays on when you're eating and drinking I actually forgot to um, take a video yesterday I used the NYX lip lingerie in um, the color cabaret so the day before I'd use exotic and yesterday I used cabaret and I think I, I don't think I like either of them there's one of these lip glosses or the NYX lip lingeries that I love that's not in my lip challenge and that is the color bedtime flirt and I just I think I'm gonna be getting rid of this one and exotic just because like they're so drying the nude it's easier to layer something on you know um, after it comes off or starts to flake off or dry whatever I'm just I was never a huge fan of the NYX lip lingeries to begin with so I think I'm gonna keep bedtime flirt but I'm gonna get rid of the both of the ones that are in my um in my lip challenge cabaret show and exotic so I will check back in tomorrow show you what lip I'm wearing and I will talk to you then deuces Good Wednesday morning. It's June 12th, so day 12 of my lip challenge. Today I decided to wear um, the L'Oreal Matte, the Color Riche Matte Lipstick in um, the color Devil's Matte Vicket. And I mean, per, like honestly, I would have gone with a, a more muted red with this specific dress that I'm wearing, but uh, I didn't have any muted reds other than exotic, which I already wore in my uh, lip challenge. So I don't know. This is so similar to Ruby Woo, but it's even cooler. So I feel like it just looks kind of weird. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like I reach for it enough. So I'm already kind of like biased against it. I feel like I don't really like it that much, but only because I have a lot of similar products, but, um, I guess I'll wear it all day, obviously, and see it's super comfortable. I didn't moisturize before using it. So it's a really comfortable mat. And I wouldn't say it's super matte. It's not like Ruby Woo matte. It's like, it's like almost like a demi matte type of finish, but look how white it makes my teeth look. It's super cool toned. Um, even cooler tone than Ruby Woo, so kind of scary, but I don't know. We'll see. I, I think, uh, at the end of the day, I will have a more clear idea of what I want to do with this lipstick. Good morning. It's Thursday, June 13th, and today I'm wearing the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. It's e.l.f.'s clear lip gloss. This is the one that I talked about in my intro video where I said I saw the Glossier slightly pink tinted clear lip gloss and I didn't want to pay $18 for it. Uh, I think this is a great $3 dupe. Um, I'm wearing it right now. I put some lip liner underneath it because I didn't want it to be completely, um, I didn't want my lips to be completely like dead underneath. You know, I wanted a little bit of color, but I really like it. It doesn't even feel like a gloss. It really kind of feels like a moisturizing balm in a way. It feels like a liquid balm. Uh, definitely stays on better than a balm would. Like you feel it more than a balm, but it doesn't feel like a gloss. It's not sticky in any way. It's more of like a thick, just like a thick liquid. I don't know how to explain it, but I think I already know I, I really like it, even though I don't use it often. Um, it's great to just kind of plus up any lip and, and just give it a little bit of, of shine. And it's super comfy. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Friday, June 14th. And today I'm wearing the Tarte H2O lip gloss in the color Hang 10. I love this gloss. I think it's so beautiful. It is just really, um, it looks like, H2O. It's like true to its name. It's very like liquidy looking, but I love the color. It's this one is easy to wear on its own. Um, the other one I have sundress, which I will be wearing sometime in June as well. Um, that one is too nude for me. So I usually layer that one, but this one's gorgeous. I like to use it uh, on its own. It's really beautiful. And then today I use the Sephora Prime Universal Lip Liner around my lips because this one I find does feather a little bit on me and does kind of slide around. Not too much, but enough to where I just want to keep it in place. That's all I have to say. I just want to say randomly, I've been in a weird like makeup rut lately and just like a rut in general. So I've been too lazy to wear mascara. I've been wearing it on and off the past two weeks, but mostly not wearing it. And I just feel so free. I feel so free not wearing mascara. I'm just like at night, I don't have to remove my eye makeup. I just like remove my actual makeup. And I'm like, whoa, this is saving me so much time. <laughs> uh, yeah, random anecdote I just wanted to include. So today I'm wearing Tarte H2O lip gloss in Hang 10. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good evening and welcome to the day, the day. Welcome to day 15 of my June lip challenge. It's Saturday, June 15th, and I am wearing Milani's matte lipstick in matte passion. I decluttered this in a lipstick a few declutters ago and then randomly changed my mind and decided to keep it, put it in a lip edit, and now it is in this monthly challenge and I love this lipstick. Um, I don't use it as much as I want to, which is why it's in this challenge, but I think it's such a nice orangey summery red. Um, and it goes well with, I feel like orangey reds go really well with white clothes. For me, it's like ultimate like summer. Um, 
I am, I just got ready because I am going to see Maz Jabrani at the Houston Improv Comedy Theater. So um, if you like him, throw this video a thumbs up. I don't know. I, I really like Maz Jabrani. If you haven't seen his Netflix special, I highly recommend it. He's really, really funny. He's also Persian, but yeah. So I got ready for that. I haven't done my hair yet, but uh, may or may not get to that. So just wanted to let you know that I wore Milani's Matte Passion. Really liking this. I think it's nice. I think there isn't too much white base. I see a little bit. My olive skin can always tell, but it's not that bad. I don't think I have like a major declutter going on, but I do think um, there were a few lipsticks that stood out to me that I thought I would hate and that I ended up loving. And then there were also a few lipsticks that I thought I would like and I hate, ended up hating and I definitely want to get rid of. So let me show you those. Um, I did use the Clinique Broadest Berry from my Project Pan 2019, which I will link up here if you haven't seen that. But I almost gave up on this and I thought I hated it and then I used it and it's beautiful and it's comfortable and I really like it and I think I'm going to keep it and I'm gonna continue using it. I really, really like this and I was shocked to actually find that I enjoyed wearing it. A few lipsticks that stood out to me that I did not like. This matte lipstick, this matte red from L'Oreal was just so red and so matte and so cool. It made me look really, ah, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, you have to find the right shade and right undertone of red for you. And this is just, this ain't it, Chief. This ain't it, not for me. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be keeping that one. Also, the MAC Cultured Lip Gloss. I, I don't know, I have to think about this one, but I have a feeling I don't wanna keep it. Even though it's in my project pan, I mean, I don't know, I really did not enjoy using this, but you know. And then uh, one more that I was actually kind of surprised to find that I didn't enjoy is this Too Faced Melted Matte. And I still have 15 days to think about it, so this is just kind of a, a recap of the first 15 days, but my final video will be on the 30th, so either the 30th or the 1st of July, just depending on um, how life works, but um, I will give you like a full update of each lip gloss and lipstick that I used and I will let you know like what exactly I'm decluttering, why, etc. So it'll be like a full on video, but this is my 15 day update. There are a handful of lipsticks that I feel like I did not enjoy very much. Um, and then the rest of them, the majority of them I did like. <laughs> There's a few here that I couldn't even grab, but uh, the majority of them I did enjoy wearing and it's nice to kind of force yourself to choose things that you have been ignoring because you know, I guess it's human nature to kind of go for the same thing over and over again once you find it comfortable. So that is my 15 day update. Please comment below and let me know if you are doing this challenge with me. How has it been going? What have you decluttered? What are you thinking of decluttering? What are you liking, etc. I would love to know, but um, make sure to check back in. I will be posting videos between now and then, but I will do a full update, a full lipstick declutter video on either June 30th or on July 1st. So. Make sure to check in for that. Um, this has been my 15 day update. Please subscribe for more videos just like this and to keep up with the rest of my June lip challenge. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.